So now we're going to tell you about red spider mite and the predators that can attack that. Now mites can be a big problem, particularly in a enclosed glass house environment or even a conservatory. Um, you may be lucky and not have come across them, but you may also have some plants which aren't thriving too well and you wonder why they're uh, not doing so well. They're really difficult to see with the naked eye because the mites are basically miniature spiders which are less than a millimetre long. And they use their tiny jaws to bite into the plant cells and help themselves to the content. Um, this is the most famous mite in the glass house called the red spider mite. It is a most misleading name as it's not usually red and although it does not look, although it does look, look like a red spider which is something completely different. In the summer, the spider mite is better called the two spotted mites because it accumulates waste food on either side of its transparent body, making two black spots. We suffer a lot from spider mites on our aubergines and strawberries, and if we let it get away in a dry summer, it will have a field day on the beans, so we don't even grow tall beans anymore. In fact, we have another mite called broad mite, which has made a real mess of our pepper crops as well. But to go back to spider mites, it likes to live on weeds such as black nightshade and appears every year without fail. The females overwinter as immobile red spots under the leaves and in crannies, sleeping their way into the spring. So, as you can see, here they are, the little mites, walking about on the surface of this strawberry leaf. Now the problem is that they systematically cover it with effectively what look like cobwebs which does the, um, the plant itself absolutely no good whatsoever. You see, if you don't get to them quickly, they'll soon, surprisingly quickly, cocoon the whole plant into a whole mass of cobwebs. And at that stage, it's basically game over for the plant. You can see that on this infested strawberry leaf, there's absolutely thousands of them. In fact, you can see them wandering around the, um, the wire here, you know, walking up along the tightrope. Um, there's so many of them. So by the time you get to that stage, it's basically game over for the plant. So let's see what they look like in action. This is an early season mite, which has uh, just got its two little red spots and uh, as you can see it's sort of moving around fairly rapidly but it's still quite tiny. These are taken at a uh, magnification of 1 to 400 and you can see quite clearly what they look like and how they move. But as they move on into the season, then they start to get more of those spots down the side, which basically represent the sort of waste products accumulating. So here we come into a mid-season mite, where you can see he's got a whole range of those spots down the uh, both sides of his body. Again, they're quite sort of mobile, and again, this is at 1 to 400. And then by the time you get into the late season, they're actually sort of really quite big, uh, comparatively speaking, even given this is at 1 to 400. And uh, he's got a sort of fair amount of uh, rubbish on board. So spider mites are tackled commercially with predators, mites like them of a similar size and habit, but which are carnivorous instead of vegetarian. We found you have to get at them well before the cobweb stage if you're going to do any good, and you need to have sufficient numbers so that their population will win the war, breed faster than their prey, and eat them quickly. Here's a little video of the predator mites. These came in a little tube of bran, and we tipped some out onto some white paper when they arrive. They're a little bit bigger than their prey, but not much. But you'll see they move in a completely different way. It's like comparing a goat with a lion. One is adapted to browsing and the other one for hunting. This particular mite, Phytocelius persimilis, has been widely used commercially to control spider mite, and it pretty well targets that only. And uh, obviously we use really quite a lot of it 
in controlling the uh, the mites in our own glass houses, both in the um, in the main veg growing area and also in the propagation area where we have the plants on benches.